In times of digital hegemony in contemporary life, the issue of writing acquires great importance, both in terms of content production, what to write, and in operational terms, how to write. Specifically, in relation to operational issues, it is noted that handwriting may be becoming obsolete. This is Joaquin, has six years old and will go to primary school, where he will learn to read and write. Probably he will have access to different instruments of reading production in the classroom, such as pencils, computers and digital tablets. We can even imagine that such devices will be of equal importance in your education and that, in the not-too-distant future, it will be more important to type on keyboard than to write with your own hand. Face it with this new technological paradigm imposed on handwriting, there is no consensus on what should be taught, just the print script print script and cursive script. Probably Joaquin will learn handwriting using Arial for the print script and the Brazilian vertical cursive based on Anglo-American models developed more than 70 years ago from the pen and ink movement. My name is Sandro Fetter and this is the Letra Escolar Brasileira, a typeface to support the handwriting teaching in Brazil. It's a great honor to be here with you at ATIPI 2020 all over. Given the impact of new media, Old models that support the teaching of handwriting at school needed to be revised and studied. As we seek to facilitate the achievement of personal writing that is legible, quick, simple and appropriate to modern times. This typeface project is part of my doctoral thesis at the Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul and was guided by this main question. How can design contribute to the acquisition of handwriting in the 21st century Brazilian school? Our main object with this project was design a digital typeface to serve as instructional support in teaching handwriting in the Brazilian school of the first 21st century. Our specific goals is establish user requirements based on interviews with experts like primary school teachers, education professor, professors and type designers. Analyze the typeface which have most often been adopted to support the teaching of school handwriting in other countries, and design and develop a typeface to support the teaching of handwriting. This is one of the first literacy booklets with a vertical continuous cursive model published in Brazil. The Nova Cartilha was launched in 1916 and circulated until the mid of the last century with about 825,000 copies. This is another important literacy booklet published in Brazil by Editora Melhoramentos. The Cartilha do Povo was launched in 1928 and circulated until the end of 20th century with around 10 million copies. 
This is the most important literacy booklet still published in Brazil, with around 40 million copies. This is the hegemonic model for the handwriting teaching in the Brazil school, the Brazilian school. Arial as the model for the print script and the kindergarten typeface as a model for cursive vertical handwriting. Here we have the four main phases of our methodology. The first phase is user requirements or user research with these procedures. The next phase is similar models analysis with these specific procedures. The next one is the typeface design based on Enestrosa, Messinger and Scaglioni and have these specific procedures. The last phase is the experts evaluation with a experts panel formed with uh, education professors, typography professors and type designers. And the experts evaluation may generate the need for revision in some of the other stages of methodology. Nine user requirements were found to guide the project design. Meet the Brazilian vertical writing model, teaching print script, teaching cursive script, facilitating teaching, facilitating the letter strokes, facilitating set up and use, adapting to the style of the teacher's handwriting, offering style variations, and ensuring easy and free access to type fonts. Based on metric parameters of the kindergarten font, the main contemporary type families used for similar purposes were analyze it through three different procedures. Parametric analysis, functional analysis, and morphological analysis. These are the 13 typefaces used for teaching school handwriting that were analyzed. Kindergarten, in Brazil, Ariel, also in Brazil, Sassoon Infant and Sassoon Joined from UK, Ecriture A and Ecriture B from France, ABC Schrift 1 from Swiss and Germany, Zener Blouser Manuscript and Zener Blouser Cursive from US, also from US, Barchowski Fluent Hand, Memima Pro from Spain, Italica Next from Italy, and also from UK, Twinkle Cursive. 25 parameters were collected from the metrics of the 13 similar type families as can be seen in this table. With the data collected on the metrics and proportion, proportions of the 13 typefaces, statistical analysis was carried, carried out and some graphics were made it which 
Here I show you the, a plot of cluster analysis and the similarity uh, groups in this dendrogram. The next one is a PCA plot with uh, three different uh, formal groups of the handwriting teaching typeface. And here we have the two main categories that uh, stood out in the typical representation of typefaces for handwriting teaching. We have a typic typographic approach and a calligraphy approach. And here we have a morphological table uh, with analysis of control characters uh, of these 13 typefaces. Now I will show you a uh, design of Letra Brasileira. Here we have the progressive structure of the leather strokes of Letra Brasileira. We have the, the four main uh, models uh, showing the, the similar structure and formal uh, strokes. So you can see the, the progressive uh, through the, the different models. Here we have the formal patterns of the Brazil, Brazilian vertical cursive model based on round leather shapes and wavy joining strokes that require greater motor skills on execution. Letra Brasileira continuous cursive model approach is inspired by contemporary Italic models, which more flowing shapes and direct diagonal strokes to joining the letters. as you can see here. The design of Letra Brasileira sought to promote the progression in the ladder strokes, facilitating the evolution between the stage of handwriting models. So here you see the, the three main stage of the progressive forms of the letter A. Here we have the shape groups in simplified lowercase letters. And here we have the shape groups in simplified cursive lowercase letters. Letra Brasileira Simplified is a proposal for teaching the first letters during children's literacy. There are some of characters' basic shapes were designed to provide progression between the models, even the cursive shapes and the joiner letters. Several alternative characters allow us to refine the alphabet models according to the preference of schools and teachers. So is the, the first stage, uh, first letters model uh, as a print script model. 
We have simplified uppercase and alternates. We have simplified lowercase and alternates. Uh, expanded set of diacritics and expanded set uh, of figures. The letra brasileira precursive model is a complementary stage to the simplified letter model and is previous to the cursive forms. It can also be the first stage in the teaching of handwriting, dispensing uh, with the print script model instruction. The precursive letter forms present the exit strokes, allowing a more flowing transition to the jointed cursive letters. The Letra Brasileira simplified cursive is freely based on italic models, such as those of Alfred Fairbank, Rosemary Sassoon, and Marion Andrews. Reconciling these with the traditional forms and connection of the letters of the vertical Brazilian cursive model. Progressing from the basic forms of Letra Brasileira Simplified and Letra Brasileira Precursive, establishes the letters joining with the direct and diagonal strokes. The Letra Brasileira Continuous Cursive Option A reflects the vertical Brazilian cursive model tradition with loops and entry strokes of the letters, but purpose less rounded shapes and direct diagonal joining strokes, aiming at more flowing, fast and legible handwriting. An alternative character set allows choosing a variety of letter forms while remaining with the model. An extensive programming of the open type features of all letter joinings allows contextual and responsive adjustment of the connection connecting strokes in a specific combinations. Letra Brasileira Continuous Cursive Option B offers an optional set of simplified cursive capitals. Here we have the current Brazilian models of handwriting teaching. Aerial to print script at first stage or the first year of uh, primary school. Following by kindergarten to Brazilian vertical continuous cursive at the third year of primary school. And here our proposal, the Letra Brasileira, a progressive system model to handwrite teaching. We have the first stage with the simplified letters and or precursive letters, and the second stage with the simplified cursive letter or the traditional continuous cursive vertical Brazilian model. Here we have a, a progression model scheme with the choices of uh, teaching with the uh, five main models. And here we have a Portuguese pangram showing the three stages of uh, handwriting with the Letra Brasileira. First, the simplified, and second stage, the precursive, and, and at 
third stage, the simplified cursive or the continuous cursive. The development of Letra Brasileira typeface involved about 10 months, during which around uh, 6,500 glyphs were created and 14 fonts were generated, five main fonts, models, and nine style variations. The evaluation approach chosen for structuring the experts group's meeting uh, based on the Gerhard Unger theory of type design and involved submitting the assessment of the system requirements grouped into four blocks of qualities. In general, the experts favorably evaluated the systems for dimensions of quality, as well as the system's overall quality. Respondents, on average, strongly agreed on the excellence of the general quality of the type family, and fully agreed that the system meets what is required of a handwriting method and that it can be used to support the teaching of school handwriting. This project presents a handwriting type system reflecting Brazilian vertical cursive tradition and moving toward innovation. Based on a simplified progressive model that can contribute to teaching an updated handwriting with new efficient rhythms compatible with the modern, modern technologies and conducive to increase performance equality. We believe in the relevance of a progressive model typeface system offered free of charge to schools, teachers and parents in order to expand access to instructional tools that can make the teaching of handwriting in Brazil school easier and more effective. To conclude, I present the following quote. If you start with simple letters with an exit strokes that promotes a forward movement, it only needs enough confidence to keep your pen on the paper between letters to let them join. However, I really mean that unless we make handwriting easier to teach and less tiresome for the majority to learn, within one or two generations the tide will have turned against writing altogether. Rosemary Sassoon I would like to say thanks to the people who were vital to this project. Dr. Ayrton Catani and Edna Cunha Lima, my advisors. Tony DeMarco, Diego Maldonado, Henrique Bayer, José Manuel Uros, Veronica Elsner and Ginter Flake, Veronica Burian and José Scaglioni, Monica Dengo and Dr. Rosemary Sassoon, and all the teachers who collaborate for this project. Thank you very much.